Hi, this is Kate. Welcome to In the Studio with Kate. It's week 44. Um, this week I've done lots of different things in the studio. I started working on that mailbox. It's in my garage. I painted the whole thing purple, which was the color of my um, previous mailbox. And um, I'm going to do some stenciling and some fun stuff. I, don't, I have no idea what it'll look like when it's done, but I'll keep you posted. Um, got together with my art journaling group last night. We, we meet twice a month and try sketching this little boat. Um, perspective's not exactly right, but it's a beginning. So I think I will try doing it another time as well. Get the angles a little bit better. But it was still fun to do something different that I've never done before. Which, as you know, if you've been watching me for a while, I like to challenge myself learning new things. This is a um, sketch from a magazine image that I did. Um, I like the way she turned out. Her kind of hair in front of her eyes and stuff was fun to do. Um, this is in a, this is my favorite book to sketch faces in. It's nice size. Um, it is a Strathmore. Just has Strathmore 400 series drawing paper in it. So what the actual title of it is, I don't know, but it's a soft cover. Pretty nice. Um, and then I had insomnia last night. I was up half the night. So at some point you come do art. So I pulled I pulled up this old raggedy that has a few <laughs> a few pages that haven't had anything done with it. Found this background and I made this purple lady. She's quite purple. <laughs> um, you really can't see what the background looked like anymore because I covered a lot of it up. But she kind of um, it was kind of fun to do. It's basically marker. I drew her in marker and, and um, a lot of titanium white paint and a little. Um, dioxide purple um, but she was kind of fun to do um, gave me something to do while I couldn't sleep uh, I was able to get to sleep after that so that was that was nice um, let's see what else do I have here I am doing another I wasn't going to show this but I'm doing you really can sense something really work in progress um, I'm doing another piece for the Sacred Arts Workshop, 13 Moons class, and it involves the moon and the goddess Arian Rod. I can't I'd probably say her name wrong every time I do it, but um, it's a two-page thing. I've started, so I first did the moon and the two crescents, because this is a journal that is not put together yet, so at some point it will be, these pages will be together like that. But um, this is a silver spiral that's connected to her, and this is the goddess that I'm drawing, and she's going to have a barn owl there, which I'm trying to figure out the placing and placement. She, I wasn't really going to put her over the moon, but um, she ended up being way too small because I wanted her sitting on um, the woman's shoulder. And to get her to do that, I had to move her up. Although she looked like a little pygmy owl, but. Um, and I used silver foil on the, um, the moon image. Silver foil is challenging. It's just like gold foil, but it's just silver. Um, because of the process of doing it, if, you're never, if you've never done that before, you, there's this glue stuff that you put on it, and that if you let it dry, and it's tacky, and then you put the foil on it, and it's supposed to stick, <laughs> and you, you're supposed to stick everywhere you put the glue, and sometimes it doesn't quite do that. A um, couple other things, you know how crazy I was about the black wings the other, the other week. That I had to buy the, the, there's three different kinds, so I had to buy the second one. This one is the Black Moon 602. It has, it's kind of like a charcoal, gunmetal, gray color, 
feels very nice in your hands. Um, it has pink erasers instead of the black. Um, I really liked working with both pencils in the same drawing. That drawing that I showed you, the woman, earlier, was done with these pencils. I, really, <laughs> I am sold on them. I think they're fabulous. Um, but the other thing, I saw this book in the store. <clears throat> It's called Everyday Watercolor. And watercolor is some, something that I struggle with. Um, but what I really liked about this, okay, it's called Everyday Watercolor. Learn to paint watercolor in 30 days. And um, it, it, it takes you step by step because, you know, you look at, you look at something like, okay, so this picture of this hummingbird and you go, well, what's the first thing I do to make that? I mean, what, <clears throat> what are the progression of steps? Um, and she does things like that in there, you know, like there's the beginning of the bird, these are the colors she uses, and, you know, maybe the next step might be, you know, adding the flowers. You can see she's adds flowers and, and stuff there. And then she then adding all the details. So, um, I thought those were great, great examples of seeing how to do something complex in watercolor, how you, you know, how you do, because it's definitely different from acrylic. Um, trying to pick a couple other examples to show you. With just a flower for that, for that. For that case there's a lot of um discussions on you know she talks about the petals and in different shapes and then there's where they've drawn the flower there's the first steps of the row the first color she's put in you know and then, then there's the third layer of that um I just thought it would, it looks really, um, really helpful. A lot of watercolor books, I think, gloss over things. Um, maybe they expect that you already know it. Um, but so I'm really excited about this. I don't know when I'm going to get to trying it, but you know, I'll probably pick a month and work, you know, work on, um, each little thing i mean because the steps in the beginning they're pretty simple i mean you're working with the with the brushes and, and using it's using a color palette and just putting paint all over the paper and then working with curves and um straight lines and triangles and the exercises you know look like they're fun as well i mean it could be fun painting all those triangles <clears throat> So anyways, this is by Jenna Rainey. Um, you can find it in Amazon and probably most local bookstores if you have a bookstore. I mean, this one's a great example. Um, of that progression and steps. This is what she painted, okay? It's pretty complex. Um, but there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven different, yeah, seven different, um, steps that she's showing you starting here and then adding more there and, Adding a little bit more to you get down to where you're almost to the finished piece. I think the last one is on this page. Yeah. Oh no, it's not the, quite the last one. There's another one. You can see she still hasn't done the um, the eye or the beak of the bird. She's doing that. And then there's a couple more steps. So I really, <laughs> I really like the simplicity of here. If you want to paint this, this is how you go about doing. So I. I recommend, not that I've used it yet, but I think this book looks fantastic, so I can't wait to dive into it and explore watercolor a little bit better and feel a little bit more confident in it. So that is what I have to say about 
that book today and all the other things I've done this week. Um, I hope that you are finding some time in your studio. I know summer is hard sometimes. Um, but sometimes just doing a little bit, even a tiny little thing, um, will get you will get you going when you haven't been doing any work. Like when I, you know, did that piece in the middle of the night, that you know, that got me going. That I want to do some more today. So, um, I hope you're having a good time and getting to your studio and getting to some artwork. And if you want, I suggest you just try 15 minutes a day and see, just draw something little or paint something little. Or uh, sometimes even for me, if you're stuck, is to um, clean your studio, tidy everything up and get everything ready, get the space ready. So uh, when you do have the time, you can just go and create there. So that'll be my hint for the day. And um, I'll see you next week. Bye.